Hi everyone, I'm Robbie Bieber, and welcome back to another Collodion Chat. So today I want to talk about aluminum, uh, how we source it and how we cut it, if we cut it ourselves, right? Uh, I want to go over kind of both the sources we can get them from, as well as the options for handling the aluminum once we purchased it. Um, I think a lot of us shoot tin types. Personally, I do most of my work on aluminum. It's just very convenient, and so we want to make sure that we're acquiring our aluminum plates uh, and processing them in the most cost-effective and convenient way we can. So I'm going to open this up with a couple of big caveats, right? Uh, first one, apologies in advance, this is very US-centric. You know, I live in the United States. I'm reasonably familiar uh, with the sellers of aluminum trophy plate here. I don't really have any knowledge about other countries or continents, and so uh, if you're an overseas viewer, I'm afraid I'm going to leave you on your own for looking up your local suppliers. Um, but feel free to keep watching. You know, maybe this methodology is still useful for you. And we will go over some of the basics of how to prepare um, prepare plates if you order larger sheets in the beginning. Second big caveat, um, this, is, this is information as of today, which is, you know, I'm recording on the 5th of May, 2024. These things change. Um, if I had done this exact video back when I first started shooting Collodion, which I think was about five-ish years ago, um, I would have come to a very different conclusion at the end because there have been some significant changes in the market since then. And, you know, if I'd done it two or three years ago, um, also significant changes. If I'd done it one year ago, you know, probably a similar situation, but the, the specific prices might have changed, right? These are, these are going to fluctuate uh, you know, with the market and with inflation. So take these numbers as, you know, accurate on the day that I release the video probably, but they're going to change over time. So if you're watching this two, three, four more years down the line, don't take it for granted that the numbers are accurate. Uh, go look them up and check the current prices. Third, really big caveat, I am not going to include shipping in my calculations uh, for the simple reason that shipping is of course dependent on where you're shipping from and where you're shipping to and you know if you need to put any kind of rush order on the shipping so that is a significant factor it's something you're going to want to keep in mind you know don't necessarily take my conclusions and use them yourself you're going to want to take your local shipping considerations into account um, because I'm going to be looking at four suppliers today, and they're all spread out across the United States, right? Going from west to east, we've got UV, UV Photographics is in Southern California. Uh, Bostic and Sullivan are in, I want to say Santa Fe, New Mexico. Uh, Main Trophy is in Illinois, I think close to Chicago. And Lund Photographics is in Maine. So all the way across the country there. You know, if you are looking at an order that is maybe a little bit similar in price between two suppliers, um, the shipping could tip the balance in favor of one or the other. So another thing that you're going to have to take with a grain of salt as we kind of get into our comparison. So let's talk basics of aluminum, right? Um, I'm assuming if you're watching this that you're familiar with, you know, the wet, the wet plate clothing process, that you're familiar with shooting on this aluminum trophy plate. And what we want to look at is how do we get this either cut to size for us by a supplier or how do we cut it to size ourselves, right? So the, the three basic options you've got are one, you can just order this stuff pre-cut. Um, every supplier that we're going to talk about today will cut plates for you, will deliver them to you in your preferred size. And so that's an option. It's by far the simplest option, um, also probably the most convenient although not necessarily the most flexible, right? So why would we want to cut plates ourselves, right? If we're going to cut plates ourselves, we're probably going to order it in these 12 by 24 sheets that you can order from Main Trophy. Um, I, think, I think one or two of these suppliers will also sell you the whole sheet if you want. I think Bostic does, but this is what you're generally going to get if you're cutting yourself. Uh, Main Trophy also sells 24 by 48 sheets, which we'll talk about a little bit more in the, as we get into the video. You probably don't want to order those to cut yourself because both of the options we're going to look at for cutting will not cut um, one of those sheets. Well, actually, no, I don't think even this big paper cutter can. So 
If you want to cut a 24 by 48 sheet, you're probably going to need to get some, some pretty large, pretty specialized cutting equipment. Whereas this 24 by 48 sheet, we can cut down. We can cut it with either um, a paper cutter, which is the first thing that we're going to look at here. And this is what a lot of people use. This is just a, a cheap plastic, mostly plastic, right? The blade is metal. Uh, swing line paper cutter. This type of paper cutter is called a guillotine paper cutter. Um, you know, when I was growing up in school, they always had these, these really big, thick, heavy ones that were, you know, mostly made out of wood and they had a big, heavy, heavy guillotine arm. Um, I, those are hard to find new nowadays. I find they're mostly these, you know, kind of plastic, much lighter units. Um, but these surprisingly work just fine. So I'm going to take a, this four x five plate here. I'm just gonna give you a quick example of how to cut these. All you do is you butt it up against the edge. You find the location you wanna cut with the blade. And then the trick to these, right? There's two kind of things that I think speak against the paper cutter for cutting aluminum, right? The first is when it comes to actually cutting, as this guillotine blade comes down, it kind of wants to drag your plate away from the top of the cutter, right? From this fence that we use to align it. And so if you're cutting, you know, like say the 12 inch side of a 20, 12 by 24 sheet, it can be difficult to, to get a perfectly square and straight cut all the way along, right? That, that plate tends to want to wander. So what you really have to do is push with some, some pressure forward against the fence as you're cutting. So I'm just gonna take a quick cut off of this, uh, this four x five plate here. And as you can see, it doesn't sound like a, like a super encouraging process, but it basically works fine, right? Now the, the piece of this plate that was supported on the bed of the cutter, this is a perfectly fine, you know, immediately usable aluminum plate. The one thing that I don't like about these cutters, aside from you know, the issue of having to push it forward, um, is just what they do to the off cut, right? The side that's not supported. So we can see this piece that came off the end is curled and it also has a corner, right? Which is the corner that was right up here at kind of the, the beginning of the cut that is bent away, right? So if this is fine for trimming plates, right? If I've got a bigger plate, I just want to take a little bit off the edge because maybe, you know, maybe like when I first got started, you ordered a Chamonix plate holder and you accidentally ordered a bunch of full-size plates for it. You just need to trim the edges off. For that, it's great. Um, I actually have this in the same room that I process plates in. And sometimes I have pulled a plate out of the silver bath, realized too late that um, that plate was actually a little bit too big for my plate holder and whipped out the paper cutter and took a sliver off the edge with the collodion fully sensitized on the front of the plate, put it in the plate holder, shot it, works perfectly. Uh, saves you from having to throw away a perfectly good plate. So it's always nice to have one of these on hand, even if it's not your primary plate cutting mechanism, but it's great for trimming. It's usable for breaking down larger sheets, right? If you're breaking down a larger sheet, the problem that you have, of course, is you get that, that weird corner on each offcut. And when you're breaking down a sheet, your offcut is just the start of your next set of plates. So there's two things that we can do about this, right? One is we can cut a sliver off the end of our offcut piece. And that way we get rid of that little, you know, that little twisted edge or sorry, that little twisted corner, which works fine. Um, the problem with that is that, you know, these 12 by 24 inch sheets, right, that divides up evenly into most of our plate sizes, right? So if you're cutting four by fives, the four inch dimension divides evenly into, um, into the 12 inch dimension. If you're cutting eight by tens, right, the eight inch dimension divides evenly into the 24 inch dimension. And so you don't really have any extra space there to be trimming uh, to be trimming these corners off. You'd basically lose, you know, one row and one column of plates off of your, off of your sheet. So the other option is just be less of a, less of a crybaby about it than me and just bend that corner back into shape, right? You can see I literally just did it on the bed of the, uh, on the bed of the cutter here. And now it's a little bit forward so I can wiggle it a little bit back. You know, personally, I hate doing this. I don't like having 
even when you get it mostly perfect, there's like a little bit of, of, a, of a ripple here. It's just not quite perfect. If you're not a perfectionist, that's honestly fine. Um, I probably care about it more than I should, but you know, it is what it is. So that's the paper cutter option. You know, you can buy these for like 20 or 30 bucks. And if you're lucky, you can find one of the old big heavy wooden ones that are even better, you know, in a thrift shop or a garage sale or what have you. Um, other option, of course, there is this type of aluminum shear. Now, this particular one is sold by Main Trophy Supply. This sucker is expensive. Um, this guy costs $440 new. I got a pretty good a pretty good price on mine. I bought it on the used market. And so, you know, that is an option. It cuts beautifully, right? I can take a, I can take a piece off of this. Not only is it almost effortless to pull this handle down, because it's got a ton of mechanical advantage, but it doesn't destroy the corner of the offcut piece the way that the paper cutter does, which makes it really easy to just breeze through a breeze through a sheet of aluminum, you know, cutting it up into individual pieces. However, it is of course expensive. So we'll talk a little bit towards the end about whether that is worth it. Um, in strictly monetary terms though, it probably isn't. Um, if you want perfectly cut plates, you're gonna have to cut a lot of plates on this thing before it's cheaper than buying pre-cut plates. So that segues us right into buying pre-cut plates. Um, I'm gonna talk about four suppliers here in the United States. There, are, I'm sure, are probably more, um, up to and including your local trophy shop. Trophy shops, I think you'll find, don't love to, to sell trophy plate, uh, right? They normally use it as a raw material for making trophies, obviously. Um, but if you're ever in a pinch and you really need some aluminum plate, hit your local trophy shop. Um, I was in that position once. I went down to my local shop and they sold me a 12 by 24 sheet for a perfectly good price and I broke it down and made some plates out of it. Um, and you know, if I had had to get something shipped, it would have been days before it got to me. So there's always, there are more options out there than the ones I'm gonna present you, but these are the four that I think are kind of the main suppliers in the United States. Um, so three of these are going to be kind of generic wet plate supply companies, right? That sell either chemistry or equipment or both. And one of them is just gonna be more of a, I don't know if wholesale is the right option, but a more direct option, right? Just a straight up trophy aluminum, uh, trophy supply seller. So let's start out with UV photographics. On the West Coast, uh, SoCal in particular, if you live in LA, and I know several wet plate photographers out there do, um, you will get orders shipped from UV photographics really, really fast. Um, you know, back when I lived in LA, I got, you know, collodion like within a day or two and placing an order. Um, so UV photographics, they mostly sell chemistry. Um, and I say they, I'm pretty sure it's just one person. Uh, Brian Coiler, I think is how you pronounce his name. Probably got that wrong. But um, yeah, mostly does chemistry. Fantastic collodion supplier. Um, I've been using his pre-mix collodion for years. Absolutely love UVPX. And gonna give UVPZ a try in the near future here. I've got a bottle of it, but haven't got a chance to use it yet. Sorry, I'm, I'm dry. I'm drifting off the top. He also sells pre-cut plates, right? So each one of these suppliers is gonna give you a slightly different experience uh, when it comes to purchasing plates. So when you're purchasing from UV, he sells these plates by the plate. So there's no, uh, and he's the only one of the, the three collodion suppliers that does this. So the other ones are gonna force you to buy them in packs. UV Photographics will sell you individual aluminum plates and usually um, from I think from all three of the suppliers we're talking about, you're gonna be within a few thousandths looking at 25 thousandths of an inch thick aluminum. This is just kind of the bog standard aluminum that basically everyone uses for tin types, right? So looking really quickly at the prices, um, UV Photographics charges 79 cents for a four x five plate, $1.79 for a five x seven plate, and 369 for an eight x 10 plate. Now I have also, on the assumption that these are being cut from kind of the 24 by 48 sheets that Main Trophy and other suppliers sell, come up with a, a price per sheet, right? So this implies a price of 1105, or sorry, 1106 
for a 24 by 48 sheet. Uh, if you're buying four by fives, buying five by sevens, it's only 1074 per 24 by 48 sheet. And if you're buying eight by tens, it's 1107 for a 24 by 48 sheet, or sorry, 12 by 24. I suspect that the reason the five by sevens are cheaper um, you know, per volume, or sorry, per area, relative to the four by fives and eight by tens, is because if you cut five by sevens out of a 24 by 48 sheet, right, so four times the size of this sheet because it's twice as large in each dimension, if you do that, you can actually get more plates out of the sheet, right? You can only get 24, um, sorry, you can only get 24 out of this, but you can get 27 out of the same, out of the same area if you have a bigger sheet, right? That's because you're cutting five by sevens, you're gonna have a pretty significant amount left over. And if you go to that 24 by 48 sheet, you get a little bit more efficiency because the extra from those four quadrants adds up to a few extra plates over the whole order. Um, moving on, Bostick and Sullivan out of New Mexico, they sell all kinds of, not just wet plate, but also all other alternative process chemistry, as well as papers, equipment. Um, they are probably the oldest kind of alternative photography supply business in operation. I know they have been around for quite some time. Um, I think the current owners inherited it from the founders. So Boston Sullivan, um, kind of my go-to for most of my like raw chemistry, you know, my silver, my developer ingredients, that kind of thing. Um, their price per plate is a little bit higher than UV photographics. And there is a, a trick to this, which is that um, you have to buy one full 12, or sorry, one full 12 by 24 inch sheets worth of plates, right? So if you're buying four by fives, I should have written down the number of plates that is. I think it's, I wanna say 20 something. Um, but basically they sell them in packs where each pack is, you know, one of these sheets cut up. And for four by fives, you're looking at 84 cents a plate. For five by sevens, you're looking at $1.96 a plate. And for eight by tens, you're looking at $3.92 a plate. And I'll make sure to put the prices up in a chart on the screen so we can compare as we go along. Um, this is a little bit more expensive per plate than UV photographic, but I think if you are if you are you know closer to them, the shipping might make up the difference. So not the cheapest, but not that far off, and also sells them in packs rather than individually. Something I forgot to mention is that both actually. UV and Bostic both sell um, plates cut to any size that you want, right? So UV photographic, um, you can, their four by five price is actually they're up to four by five price, right? You can get a four by five plate cut down to any size you want that's smaller. Ditto for five by seven and eight by 10. Uh, Bostic and Sullivan, they basically just charge you 1175 for the sheet of 24 by 48 aluminum and then you can have them cut that up however you want, right? So there's no cutting fees at either of those, which is gonna be important as we move down our list of suppliers. Moving on to Lund Photographics out of Maine. Um, Lund sells mostly equipment. Um, I, I love their, their silver and fixer tanks. Um, they are by far the best traveling tanks in my opinion, but they also sell plates and Lund is a little bit of an outlier in this list because the other three suppliers on our list sell basically the same thing. Um, I have had people tell me pretty matter-of-factly that everyone is sourcing their aluminum from Maine Trophy Supply, who is the last supplier we're gonna talk about, and they just cut it up themselves. I don't know if that's true for certain or not. It's definitely possible. Um, they might also have some other supplier. But whether it's coming from Maine or someone else, you're getting pretty much identical aluminum from UV Photographics or from Bostick and Sullivan. Lund Photographics, however, sells something different. Um, so this is, you know, one of their 4 by 5 plates I just took a couple of cuts off of. But if we look at the back of uh, the main trophy supply sheet, this is just plain, sil plain silver-colored aluminum, right? If we look at the back of the Lund Photographics plate, we see this white 
kind of plasticky coating on the back. And this coating is something that I think people either love or they hate. So it's, it's nice because it makes it easier to clean the plate off when it comes out of the silver bath. I find that it is, it is easier to take off, you know, if you've got a little bit of collodion that got on the back of the plate and now it's, you know, it's reacted with the silver and now it's formed a film on there. I just find it easier to wipe that off than it is to kind of wipe off the back of an aluminum plate. However, some people have reported artifacts on their plates and or silver bath contamination from Lund photographic plates. I've never experienced that myself, but I also haven't used many of their plates. I think I shot maybe four or five of them, and then I read about those issues with people's silver baths, and I kind of got scared off, and now that one batch of plates that I bought has just been sitting, uh, you know, sitting with my supplies for the last like five years. So Lund Photographics is an option, and it is up to you whether you think this coating on the back of the plate is a blessing or a curse. As far as prices go, they are the cheapest of the bunch uh, for pre-cut plates, right? So they sell their plates in packs of 25, which on a per unit basis is gonna work out to 68 cents for a four by five, a dollar 18 for a five by seven, and 268 for an eight by 10, which is more than a dollar less expensive than a UV photographics eight by 10 plate. Now, the fact that you have to buy them in packs of 25 is potentially a problem, right? If you don't want to spend a bunch of money, right? Going up to eight by 10 in particular, you know, 25 times 268, you're looking at, I'm not gonna do the math off the top of my head, but upwards of $50 uh, in an order. So that's kind of the three, you know, the three wet plate suppliers that will sell you plates their prices, uh, their peculiarities about buying, and of course their locations, right? Lund is in Maine, so I assume if you're in New England, you're probably gonna get the best shipping from them. Now, let's go on to the, the elephant in the room, the however many pounds the gorilla is in the figure of speech that everyone uses, Maine Trophy Supply. So Maine Trophy Supply is, like I mentioned before, the company that everyone thinks that everyone gets their plates from. Again, don't know for certain that's true, but it probably is um, because they are a very large trophy supply company out of Illinois. You know, they supply obviously trophy supply shops, but I think they also realized at some point in the past, you know, the past decade or two that this, this tintype photography thing was gaining popularity and they were selling a lot of plates to tintype photographers. So once upon a time, um, you know, when I first got started, it was kind of the golden days of ordering from Main Trophy. Because the way Main Trophy sells aluminum is you gotta buy a full sheet of at least 12 by 24. They also sell 24 by 48 sheets, right? Which is four times as big as this 12 by 24. Now the 12 by 24 sheet costs $7.33. Now if you recall, you, Bostick and Sullivan charges $11.75 for one of those sheets worth of plates. And UV Photographics is gonna be varying anywhere from about 1070 to a little over $11 um, for one of these plates. So that's a significant dif discount over the collodion specific suppliers. And back in the day, you could just order from, you could just order from Main Trophy and you could tell them exactly how you wanted the plate cut up and they would cut it up into as many pieces as you, as you wanted for a, single per plate cut fee, right? Which I don't remember what it was back then. Nowadays, it costs 55 cents a cup, right? So at that point, it was pretty much a no-brainer to order from Main Trophy, if you knew about Main Trophy, right? You know, maybe if you're ordering from one of the other companies for other reasons, you'd throw some plates into your order. But if you knew about Main Trophy, you'd pretty much just order from them because it was far and away cheaper than the others. Now, somewhere along the line, they changed their cutting policy to where you could get 4x5, 5x7, and 8x10 plates for that single per plate cutting fee. And for that, um, they would just, you know, you'd be good. But if you wanted any other plate, they would charge a setup fee per size, right? And the setup fee was pretty significant. I think it was like $12 or $13. 
And so that changed things, right? Especially, you know, if you wanted to shoot an odd size, right? If you had a, a non-standard size camera or you wanted to go ultra large format, then that could be an issue. Um, and so for me, it was a problem because I used Chamonix holders, which were, you know, instead of four by five, I wanted, you know, three and 15 sixteenths by four and 15 sixteenths, right? Um, and since then, I had been cutting my own plates because I got, you know, a great deal on this aluminum shear here. But for the purposes of this video, I went ahead and I called Main Trophy again to ask about their current, you know, setup fee and per plate cutting fees. And things have changed again to where now they just charge the setup fee across the board. There's no, there's no leeway given for those standard 4x5, 5x7, 8x10 uh, plates. Which means you're now going to be chart. You're now going to be paying twenty dollars setup fee for each size of plate you want. So while the the per plate prices, especially for like eight by ten and larger, can be pretty attractive compared to the other suppliers, that setup fee is kind of killer, and it makes the math on this a little bit complicated because it's not as simple as who has the cheapest price anymore. Now you gotta look at not only who has the cheaper per unit price, but how many plates am I gonna order at a time to potentially make up that cutting fee. So I went ahead and did some math for you. So let's talk about self-cut plates, first of all, right? Because if you have your own, uh, your own paper cutter that you don't mind using, or you've got an aluminum shear, then you can just cut the plates yourself and save the per plate cut fee. And then you're making you know, a pretty good discount over the collodion supplier's plate prices. Um, so if you're cutting your own plates, buying 24 by 48 sheets, your price per plate for four by five is gonna be 52 cents, right? which is more than 20 cents cheaper than uh, UV. Um, your five by seven price is gonna be $1.22, also pretty cheap compared to the other suppliers. Although actually more expensive than Lund Photographic. So like I said, Lund is kind of an outlier. It really just depends on whether you like this, this plastic backing or not. Uh, but Lund plates are inexpensive compared even to cutting your own plates, right? So an eight by 10 also is gonna be 244. Once again, cheaper than UV Photographics or Bostic, um, but actually almost as expensive as Lund, right? Lund is 268 for an eight by 10. Cutting it yourself, you're getting 244 for an eight by 10. So you're saving, but you're not saving a ton. Um, and four by five and five by seven are actually more expensive self-cut than buying from, uh, from Lund. So if you get them cut by main trophy, the prices of course go up. And this is just gonna be the per plate fee. We're not considering the, uh, the setup fee yet. All right, so self-cut four by fives, you're looking at a dollar and seven cents per plate from Main Trophy, which is far and away the most expensive on our list. Uh, if you're buying four by five plates pre-cut, there's no scenario in which it makes sense to order from Main Trophy. Five by seven plates, you're looking at about a dollar seventy-seven per plate if you buy them cut up from twenty-four for twelve by twenty-four sheets. If you buy the larger 24 by 48 sheet and have them cut that up for you, that's gonna lower your per plate price to $1.64 because you get a little bit more efficiency by going to that larger plate. Um, eight by tens, you're looking at a per plate price of $2.99. Oh, sorry, that $1.77, that is barely cheaper than UV Photographics. Um, and your eight by 10, that's gonna be $2.99, which is, you know, about 70 cents cheaper than, um, than, sorry, than UV Photographics. Now, of course, Lund is cheaper than all of these per plate prices um, if you're getting them pre-cut from Main Trophy. So again, if you like Lund's plates, just buy them from Lund. Um, or, I mean, maybe find their supplier and buy them from them because I have no idea where these plates come from. But if you do like them, they are cheaper than even getting a uh, main trophy to cut plates for you. But of course, there's that $20 setup fee that we have to talk about, uh, which is gonna apply to every single size that you get in your order. So the question that I asked here is, if I'm gonna be ordering pre-cut plates from main trophy with that $20 setup fee, 
how many plates do I have to buy to save money or to break even on the price from main trophy versus UV photographics, right? Which is the cheapest supplier on this list aside from Lund, who we're kind of leaving out of the comparison here because they're a bit of an odd duck. So the break even point for four by five plates is, I just wrote NA here. It, there is no break even point. Main trophy costs you, main trophy charges you more per plate for a four by five than UV photographics, even before the setup fee. So there's no number of plates you can order, right? In fact, the more plates you order, the more money you would have saved by going with UV. So again, four by five plates, it just doesn't make sense to order from main pre-cut. Five by seven plates, um, if you're ordering them cut from 12 by 24 inch sheets, you would have to order 1,000 plates to break even. Right, you'd have to place in one order a thousand plates to to make up for that um, that twenty dollars setup fee, because they're they're almost as expensive as UV photographics. It's a dollar seventy seven versus a dollar seventy nine. But there's a caveat here, which is that you can just buy twenty four by forty eight sheets, right, which are four times bigger and yield more plates comparatively. So if you go to those 24 by 48 sheets, which of course you would if you're buying in that kind of volume, in that case, you would only have to order 133 plates in a batch um, to save money versus UV photographics. So that's still a lot of plates. Um, I don't think I've ever ordered that many five by sevens at once, but you know, if you shoot a ton of five by seven, if you're ordering a couple hundred plates at a time, main trophy will save you some money here. 8x10 is by far the best deal for main trophy pre-cut plates. Um, if we order from main, we only have to order 29 plates to break even and save a little bit of money versus UV photographics. So that is quite a few um, 8x10 plates, right? You get, what, three 8x10 plates out of one of these sheets. So that's almost 10 sheets. Um, but that's a, that's a reasonable order, right? So if you're someone who shoots a lot of eight by 10, main trophy, pre-cut plates, even with the setup fee, can be a potentially good deal. Now, one thing that is irritating about that is that um, one thing that used to be nice about ordering eight by 10s from main trophy is that if you cut, one, if you cut this sheet into eight by 10s, right? This is a 24 by 48 sheet, or sorry, Keep mixing up, this is a 12 by 24 sheet. So what you do is you take your 24 inch dimension, you divide it into three eight inch sides, and you take your 12 inch dimension, and you just cut it down to 10 inches, right? That leaves you two inches on the side, which means if you are buying the big plate, you got two inches of waste from each side, that means you can get a bunch of four by fives along with your order of eight by tens. That's what I used to do when I'd order eight by tens for main trophy before they instituted these cutting fees. But now, or sorry, before they instituted these setup fees. But now that they have instituted that $20 per, per size setup fee, uh, that's gonna really kind of kneecap the affordability of your order. So that probably doesn't make sense anymore. But if you're ordering a bunch of eight by tens, you can order them from 24 by 48 sheets and you can have them just send you the remainders, right, the waste and then you can cut them yourself on a paper cutter and you know get some four by fives kind of for free with your order. And then one last bit of math I wanted to do is if you buy this aluminum shear for main trophy for $440 new, how many plates would you have to cut with this shear before you would break even on that $440 you spent versus buying pre-cut from UV photographics? And the answer is, if you cut four by five plates, you would have to cut 1,630 plates uh, to save money versus just ordering pre-cut from, from UV photographics. If you cut five by seven plates, you're gonna need 772 plates before you break even. And for eight by 10, you're gonna have to cut 352 plates, which is getting into the realm of maybe you know, potentially feasible for someone who, you know, maybe runs a studio or just shoots a whole lot. 
but that's still a lot of plates. Um, I think unless you are, you know, kind of a full-time collodion photographer, which there are not many of out there, this aluminum shear is probably not a good investment for you unless you get a really good deal on it used. And honestly, even at the price that I paid for it used, which I think was around $200, I may or may not ever break even um, on, on my cutting fees with this. But um, yeah, even if you get it, so unless you get it very cheap, or I mean, unless you have a trophy cutting business or something, or you just want it, um, it's probably not going to be an economic positive for you in the foreseeable future. Um, there is one aspect that I'm overlooking a little bit, which is that there's a lot of convenience in the aluminum shear, in that if I have a 24 or a 12 by 24 sheet, I don't have to break it down into just one particular size, right? I can break it down into whatever combination of sizes I want, right? So if you, if you shoot a lot of different formats and you value that flexibility of being able to just keep these big 12 by 24 sheets on hand, and kind of cut them down on the fly into whatever you want, you know, that could be a valid use case for the aluminum shear. Maybe you get $440 worth of personal convenience out of that. But on a strictly economic basis, you probably don't want to buy this thing. So that was a lot of information. Um, I know I threw a lot of numbers at you there. I will hopefully come up with some good charts to put on the screen in post to make the numbers at least a little bit more palatable. Um, but real quick, let's just do a rundown of our conclusions here. <laughs> so first of all, you know, the, the kind of big dog, the, the elephant in the room, main trophy, far and away the lowest cost option for regular metal-backed aluminum plates if you're cutting them yourself. If you are getting them cut, Main Trophy is quite possibly not going to be your most cost-effective solution. For that, you're probably going to want to go to UV Photographics if you're looking for kind of the regular, you know, bare aluminum-backed sheets uh, slash plates. But Bostic and Sullivan is going to be a close second on affordability. And if you're closer to Bostic or if you're just already ordering some stuff from them and you just want to throw some plates into your order, they may very well be just as cost-effective. Lund Photographics um, sells plates in larger quantities, which might be prohibitive for you, especially if you're buying them in larger sizes. But their per plate prices for these, these 25 thousandths of an inch thick aluminum are very attractive. Um, they beat out all of their competitors, including for most sizes, even cutting your own plates from main trophy uh, sheets. The big caveat with that, of course, is that they do have this white plastic uh, plastic backing on the plates, which some people love and some people really, really hate. So that one is kind of a buyer beware. Try it out if you want. You might love it. You might think that it ruined your silver bath. So that is my rundown of the, uh, the aluminum supply situation in the United States here in, you know, roughly the middle of 2024. Things may change. Um, oh, I forgot, I forgot to mention, main trophy, the one big difference, aside from all the pricing we've talked about, is that main trophy kind of feels like you're doing business in like the late 90s, early 2000s, in that their website is set up and it will show you prices and products, but it does not work for ordering. Um, so if you want to order plates from Main Trophy, you got to email their sales department and they will call you and get your credit card number, um, you know, send it to your address. Not the end of the world. I think all of us who order from them are used to it, but that's just one other consideration, right? If you buy from any of these other suppliers, you go to their website, you place an order, it shows up at your door. Main Trophy, there's a little bit more legwork involved. So yeah, that's the rundown. Uh, aluminum suppliers in the United States. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to offer for other countries, but hopefully this methodology is reusable. You know, feel free to go do the same analysis for your own local providers. And uh, good luck with, all, with your plate purchases. And I hope you all are having a great time making wet plates out there. Until next time, have a great day.